Oh, thank you very much. This is quite an honor. Um, we're about to celebrate at WSB our 70th, 70th anniversary, and I came to realize I'm only the third chief meteorologist in the company's history. We stay around a while. We stay around. I have been very, very fortunate to work with legends in Atlanta, Monica Pearson, Jocelyn Dorsey, uh, absolutely incredible. I have a team of meteorologists that I am so proud of, the best in the country. Meteorologist Karen Minton, I call my little sister. <laughs> Been here over 30 years with me and just some great times. Meteorologist Brad Nitz and I have been forecasting and tracking hurricanes and tornadoes and blizzards and all kinds of weather for, for a decade now. And the new kids on the block, meteorologists Brian Monahan and Katie Walls, you're the future and absolutely incredible. And my producer, Maya May, unparalleled, smart, documentarian, amazing, amazing. Just got to work with some incredible people. Now, I've been here since 1982, got hired in, in 81, and in 82, uh, my wife Susan and I came in with my three-year-old daughter and my year old son and a 60 pound Irish setter. So we got to the airport here in Atlanta and we wanted to rent a car. And the car agent said, well, we can't do that because of all the snow. What? I looked outside and there was that much snow. <laughs> the cars were all over the highway. She said, yes, this is Snow Jam 82. I said, I just got here from Minneapolis. This is Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I went to graduate school at the University of Minnesota, my second job. Um, learned a lot about snow forecasting. I said, I'm never going to let this happen again. Well, found out snow is a little more challenging to forecast here. And then it was um, March the 10th, 1993. I called my news director, Dick Moore, down and our general manager, Greg Stone, at the time, and I said, uh, we got a situation here. And they said, well, we think we're going to get any snow? I said, oh, oh, yeah, probably 30 inches in some areas. Well, <laughs> you can't go out and say that. <laughs> I said, I think it's going to be a blizzard. It looks like a blizzard. I know a blizzard. I've been to Minneapolis. I know blizzards. <laughs> How many blizzards have we had here? Well, none. But I, we got to prepare. You just can't say that. None of the other stations are doing that. And I said, uh, OK, let's wait till the next day, and we'll see what the models say. Next day, got even worse. So I said, we have to do this. They said, all right, you're going out on a limb. OK, so we went out, and I made that forecast. And Karen was with me on that. I had full support from Karen, but pretty much no one else in the station, believe me. <laughs> So, okay, the next day was going to be big, March the 13th. March the 12th, I went to bed. They put me up at the Colony Square Hotel just in case we would get some snow. I'd be close to the station. So I'm at, uh, near the Fox Theater downtown Atlanta. And, of course, I wasn't going to get any sleep that night. So at 2 o'clock in the morning, I look out the window. It's pouring rain. 3 o'clock, it's pouring rain. 4 a.m., pouring rain. Oh, there goes my career. I'm done. Get the want ads out. 5 a.m., I hear a crack of thunder. I look out, and I could not see Peachtree Street. It was white out. Yes. <laughs> so so that, was, uh, that was my claim to fame, and, and people started to trust us after that. So, uh, I mean, I was this close to buying the farm there. In fact, one of our reporters, I remember Joyce Oscar, uh, was stuck at a Cohutta Wilderness Lodge up in, up in the uh, northwest part of Georgia for a week. And I remember our chopper was choppering in food because they were out of food. The only way you could get around in parts of the mountains was by horseback. So. Uh, vindicated with that. And, and I, I do have to tell you that I work for the greatest station in the country. It's a legend. 
WSB TV is a legend across the country. It's the number one news station in the country. And we owe a lot of that to my famous news director, Misty Turnbull over there, for keeping us with the greatest technology, the greatest people, the greatest support. And I really appreciate all you've done. Now, this is a tough business if you're married, if you work at nights and you have to do weekends and Hi, honey, a tornado's coming, best of luck. <laughs> but back in uh, 43 years ago last week, um, I was very fortunate that this woman in my life said, yes, I'll marry you. And um, just one of the times that I looked up at her for the first time I ever saw her at the University of Florida, the journalism building. Fortunately, she was in the journalism department, so she had an idea of what we would go through. Uh, you just get those butterflies, and, and they've never left, honey. And thank you for. So, and thank you all for this. And, and um, you know, there's more years. I thought you said this was for old people. But, you know, there are more years behind me than ahead. And, and you savor every moment. And this is one of the moments I will savor forever. Thank you very much.